Welcome to your discharge review course. We hope this short course is helpful to you as you prepare to continue your recovery at home. Remember, your nurse will also be doing discharge teaching today, so if you have more questions, you can get the answers before you leave the hospital. As you prepare to head home, please remember that your joint coach is a very important member of your team. Make sure both of you have familiarized yourselves with the journey guide. Keep this booklet handy so you can reference it at home. We will look at four topics today, pain control, exercise, blood clot prevention, and incision care. Let's start with pain control. Your nurses here at Barnes Jewish Hospital have been working to control your pain, but when you get home, you and your joint coach will have this job. It's very important that you use all your resources, including pain medication, ice, and elevation. Our goal is to keep your pain at a level four or below. However, it is not uncommon for post-operative pain to increase slightly in your first days at home. Pain medications will be prescribed by your surgeon and all new prescriptions can be filled here at the hospital through our mobile pharmacy program. This way you will have everything you need when you first arrive home. It is very important that you take your pain medications regularly as long as you are having pain. Sometimes setting an alarm or keeping track of your medications in a notebook can be helpful. There is even a form provided in your journey guide on page 29 for this purpose. Although it is important to wean off pain medication in the coming days and weeks, taking these medications now can help you participate in physical therapy and possibly meet your rehabilitation goals more quickly. Remember that pain-relieving narcotic medications tend to cause constipation. Be proactive to prevent it. Take your prescribed stool softeners or laxatives. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Include fiber in your diet, such as fruits and vegetables. And lastly, be sure to move. Take frequent short walks and do your recommended exercises. Each of these will help prevent constipation and have lots of other benefits too. When inflammation, fluid, and swelling build up near your surgical site, pain is the result. Using consistent cold therapy will help keep this under control. You can use refillable ice packs, gel packs, or homemade ice packs with the simple recipe you see here. Using ice for 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off is considered the safest method. Elevation can also help to prevent swelling. Knee replacement patients must remember to keep a straight leg when elevating, while hip patients need to follow their precautions at all times. All patients should change positions frequently throughout the day, alternating between standing, walking, sitting, and lying down. As a reminder to our knee patients only, be sure to use a rolled towel or pillow under the ankle to encourage a straight knee while lying down. However, if this is much too painful, you may use the alternate elevation position here. This knee position uses a ramp or wedge of pillows for elevation, but still keeps the knee straight. Exercise and mobility. Patients are encouraged to take six to eight short walks per day and complete physical therapy exercises two times per day. Exercise instructions will be given to you by your physical therapist and videos are available online. When moving around at home, you must follow your weight bearing instructions and use your walker or crutches at all times. Posterior hip replacement patients must keep their legs abducted, avoid flexing their hip beyond 90 degrees and keep from twisting at the waist. Anterior hip patients have slightly different precautions, so be sure to review your instructions. Preventing blood clots. Most patients will leave the hospital on one of these two blood clot prevention plans. Plan A, Take aspirin twice a day for six weeks and use active care pumps at home for 10 days. 
Plan B, take warfarin as a blood thinner for approximately one month. If you're taking active care pumps home, remember to take home the wall charger. Wear your pumps 23 hours each day. Wash out the cotton liners each night and hang dry. Wear pump sleeves and tubing with shorts or under baggy pants to avoid a fall risk. And return after 10 days using the prepaid postage box. Incision care. Preventing infection starts by washing your hands and checking your wound regularly in order to be able to recognize any changes. Call your surgeon's office if you see new wound drainage of any color, redness in or around the wound, warmth around the wound, new swelling, opening of the wound, pain that is suddenly unrelieved by medications, or fever above 101 degrees Fahrenheit. After hours, please call the orthopedic exchange number for any questions or concerns. Any dressing changes or other wound care will be explained by your nurse and your discharge instructions. Please listen closely and reread these instructions with your joint coach once you arrive home. It's also important that you prevent respiratory infections by using your incentive spirometer at home. Keep it by your bed and sitting area so you remember to use it every hour throughout the daytime. We have now covered our main topics of pain control, exercise, blood clots, and incision care. You have almost completed the course. Just a few more tips. This chart may be a useful tool for patients and coaches. Put it somewhere visible so you can track your progress and remember your important daily tasks. There is a copy in your journey guide on page 30. Final thoughts. When it's time for discharge, your joint coach will drive the car to patient pickup while a staff member takes you to meet them and assists you into the vehicle. Please make sure to read through your discharge instructions and your journey guide once more when you arrive home. You and your joint coach will still have support at home. If questions or concerns arise, you can call your surgeon's nurse, your home health nurse, or Medicare patients can also contact their outpatient care manager. Please don't hesitate to use these resources. We want your hip or knee surgery to be a complete success.